how to read and write CSV files in Python. And today I will show you two ways to do it with the CSV module. First of all, I have to import the CSV module. And I'm creating an entry point of my program. It is an if main block that checks whether the file was imported or run directly from the console. If the file will be run from a console, the main function will be called. So I'm creating a new function main and here I'm pasting some data that I want to write to a CSV files. It's uh, dictionaries. Each dictionary represents a person. I want to pack these dictionaries to a list. Our test data ready and I want to start with writing data to a CSV file. So I'm creating a new function. Let's name it write CSV that will take a dictionary as an argument. Let's say it will be data variable. And here all file operations we perform within the context manager with. I am opening a file by calling the open function. As the first argument I pass into it a file name, let's say it will be persons CSV. And by default the open function opens a file for reading. And to write some data to a file I have to pass into the open function the second argument mode that equals to the A letter within quotation marks. A stands for append, so an input data, our dictionaries, will be appended to the end of the file. And uh, we can omit the name of the mode parameter and specify just a letter. And then I am saving open file object to a variable file. To write data variable to the file variable, I have to create a special object writer. So I am creating a new variable writer that equals to the CSV module. And then I am calling the writer method. Writer method takes a file object as an argument. So I'm specifying here the file variable, this one and the writer object will write our data variable to the CSV file with its write raw method. So I am calling the write raw method that takes only one argument. So to write to a CSV file our three elements, surname, name and age, I have to pack them all to a list or a tuple. So I will pack them all to a list and within the list I am enumerating needed data. Data variable, surname, and now let's call our write CSV function from the main function. So I'm starting a for loop for item in L list. L is a list with our dictionaries and here I'm calling the write CSV function and pass into it an item, a dictionary. Save and run. And we can see a person's CSV file with our data in it. I'm open it with the LibreOffice. And we can see our data here, each value in its own cell. Great. Uh, it was the first way to write data to a CSV file. And the second way. I'm copying the declaration of write CSV data and the second line. Let's see here. It will be write CSV2 
and within context manager with I'm creating a writer variable again CSV module calls dict writer class this time and the first argument is the file variable that is where to we will write the data and the second argument is the field names the field names parameter defines the order in which values of the data dictionary are written to the CSV file. And the field names parameter is a list with the keys of the data dictionary. So I'm defining field names parameter that equals to some value. And here I'm creating a new variable order that equals to a list. And in the order list, I'm enumerating the keys of the data dictionary. So let's say the first one will be surname again, then name again, and the age. And then I'm assigning the order variable to the field names parameter. I won't delete it. The next part of our write CSV2 function is almost the same. The writer object calls its writer method and takes the data dictionary directly data dictionary and that's all and in the main function i will call write csv2 function save and run we can see person's csv file with the same content. It was the second way to write data to a CSV file. And the last step is to read data from a CSV file and to import them to Python dictionaries. To do it, I have to do the opposite. I have to read the CSV file line by line and write the value of each cell as the values of a dictionary keys and return all dictionaries to a user. Let's create a new function. Let's say read CSV that takes no argument with context manager open. I am here specifying the file name persons CSV and save opened file object to a file variable. Next, I have to create a reader that will read the CSV file line by line. So I'm creating reader variable that equals to the CSV module dict reader class that takes the file variable as the first argument. And uh, to define the keys of a dictionary in which the dict reader will write a values from the column of the CSV file, I have to specify the field names parameter of the dict reader class. Field names equals two. And here let's create a new variable and uh, name it, let's say keys that also is a list and here I specify the keys of the dictionary. It will be name, surname and age. Field name parameters equals to the keys list. And now I want to read CSV file. So I'm starting a new for loop for raw in reader print out raw and uh, in the main function I'm calling the read CSV function save and run and now we can see that each raw in the reader is an instance of the order dict class and now I want to convert them to regular dictionaries and I want to return all dictionaries in a list. So I'm creating here a results variable 
that equals to a list, then I'm calling the dict function and then append the result of dict function to the results list. Results append and then just return the results list. And now in the main function I want to catch the returning value of the read CSV function and print it out. Let's say rows equals to read CSV print rows. Save and run. And we can see a list with all our dictionaries, with, with all our data. So we can process uh, this data further. If you like the video, please click like and subscribe.